we're going to Charlotte, the Charlotte area. We'll be talking about health care. We have a lot of good things happening with respect to health care and very positive on pre-existing conditions, very positive on the fact that we got rid of the individual mandate, which was the single most unpopular thing having to do with Obamacare, the Obamacare disaster. And But we have a lot of incredible things, positive things, and very good things and money-saving things on health care. And then we're going to Florida. We have a big rally, and it'll be something. I hear there's a tremendous number of people. So uh, we're not totally surprised by that, but that's okay. Tremendous number of people. Uh, Jennifer, go ahead. Uh, Mr. President, on TikTok, if you had an update today on how the CPS negotiations are going on TikTok? They're working to see if they can make a deal. And if they make a deal, they'll have to bring it to me, and I'll either pro approve it or not. Uh, to me, safety is the predominant factor, and we'll see if they can do that. But they're moving along, and let's see what happens. If they make a deal, that's fine, and if they don't, that's okay, too. Mr. President, are the election results only legitimate if you win? So uh, we have to be very careful with the ballots. The ballots, that's a whole big scam. You know, they found, I understand, eight ballots in a uh, waste paper basket in some location. Uh, they found, uh, it was reported in one of the newspapers that they found a lot of ballots in a river. Uh, they throw them out if they have the name Trump on it, I guess, but they had ballots. They had no names on them, they said. Okay, well, they still found them in a river, whether they had a name on it or not. But uh, the other ones had the Trump name on it, and they were thrown into a waste paper basket. We want to make sure the election is honest, and I'm not sure that it can be. I don't, I don't know that it can be with this whole situation, unsolicited ballots. There are unsolicited millions being sent to everybody, and we'll see. But uh, if you remember, Hillary Clinton just a week ago or so told Joe Biden, do not accept the results of the election under any circumstances. But you don't ask her that question. You only ask me the question. Uh, yeah, go ahead. But you didn't answer my question. You didn't answer my question. Are the results only legitimate if you win? Lagoa, do you plan to meet with Lagoa? Uh, I don't want to make a comment on that, but we're going to make our decision on Saturday, but I won't comment on can that. You, I, I will say this. I think uh, Saturday afternoon, 5 o'clock, it's going to be uh, a very important day in the history of our country. I think it's going to be a very monumental, very good choice. What do you Mr. say to the President, family of Breonna Taylor, sir? What do you President, say to the family of Breonna Taylor? Have you made Taylor? a final choice yet? Have you asked the candidate? I'm getting, I'm getting very close to a final choice. One follow-up. Governor Cuomo said the federal government can't be trusted on a vaccine. And he said New York would have to approve any uh, vaccine that the federal government approves before he'll ship it out. Well, we're doing, uh, we have numerous companies. We have Johnson & Johnson. We have Pfizer. We have Moderna. We have others, too. They're great companies, the best in the world. So uh, I think you put the people of New York at great risk, and he's done that. If you look at the nursing homes, 11,000 people died uh, needlessly. So uh, when you look at that, it's very sad. So we'll uh, see. You'll have to see. But you have these are great companies. These are being done by the really probably some of the greatest companies in the world. When you think with Pfizer, Johnson and Johnson, etc. Uh, I think that. They are getting very close. As you know, they're in final testing right now, phase three, but final. Uh, they've given uh, shots to everybody, to a lot, to thousands and thousands of people. And so far, it looks very good, and it looks like it could happen fairly quickly. Before you, what do you say to the family of Breonna Taylor, sir? I think it's a sad thing, and I give my regards to the family of Breonna. I also uh, think it's so sad what's happening with Everything about that case, including law enforcement, so many people suffering, so many people needlessly suffering. But with respect to Brianna, we give our regards to the family. Sir, what do you think the protesters are fighting for? Sir, what do you think the protesters are fighting for? Sir, you have been nominated for Nobel Peace Prize for Middle East historic deals that you have done. Does the global foreign policy also checkmate China? Stop it. China well, it was an honor to be uh, nominated for two Nobel Prizes, so that was an honor, and uh, we'll see what's happening. I know that China now and India are having difficulty, and very, very substantial difficulty, and 
Hopefully they'll be able to work that out. If we can help, we'd love to help. Mr. President, how did you feel about some of the chanting that was going on outside the Supreme Court? Vote you out uh, and fulfill, uphold her wish? Well, I think that was just a political chant. I could, We could hardly hear it from where we were. Somebody said there was some chanting, but uh, they were right next to the media. But we really could hardly hear too much. Did we, you have any feelings we heard, about it? We heard a sound, but it wasn't very strong. Sir, what do you think the peaceful protesters are fighting for? What do you think the peaceful protesters are fighting for? Well, I think that peaceful protesters, number one, it's fine to do that in a peaceful manner. But when it for? gets least, when it gets less than peaceful, as you see all over, then it's unacceptable, and that's where law and order is necessary, and that's where law enforcement is very important. So what are they fighting for? You didn't answer my question. Yeah, no, what a servant, sir, you didn't answer my question. Enjoy, what are, are they fighting for? Are you endorsing Susan Collins in her race for U.S. Senate in Maine? Are you endorsing Republicans? Well, we're Collins? speaking with a lot of people about that. I'm, I'm doing very well in Maine. You've seen the numbers. Uh, what I've done for Maine is what nobody's done. I've freed up 5,000 square miles of ocean that was taken away by President Obama. And for the uh, lobster, the people that go out and get us those great lobsters that we all like so much, I freed that whole business up, and the fishermen, too, we freed it up. So it's, uh, I think I've done more for Maine than just about anybody, certainly in many, many years. So I'm doing very well in Maine. I don't know. I haven't seen polls on Susan, but I hope she does well. Thank you.